George Papadopoulos George Papadopoulos joined the Trump campaign as part of a foreign policy advisory team created to blunt criticism that the campaign lacked foreign policy advisors. Although Papadopoulos had limited, if any, influence on the campaign's policies, he parlayed his association with the Trump campaign to attempt to establish ties with foreign capitals, as well as advance his personal goals of having increased influence in foreign energy circles. Despite efforts by certain individuals to remove him from the campaign, Papadopoulos continued to assert his affiliation with the campaign and remained in contact with senior staff such as Stephen Bannon and Michael Flynn. The committee found George Papadopoulos used multiple avenues to pursue a face-to-face meeting between Trump and President Putin. Papadopoulos believed that he was operating with the approval, or at least not the explicit disapproval, of campaign leadership, who he kept prized of his efforts. Papadopoulos never successfully scheduled a meeting between Putin and Trump. The committee further found that Papadopoulos' efforts introduced him to several individuals that raised counterintelligence concerns due to their associations with individuals from hostile foreign governments as well as actions these individuals undertook. The committee assesses that Papadopoulos was not a witting co-optee of the Russian intelligence services but nonetheless presented a prime intelligence target and potential vector for malign Russian influence. The committee found evidence that Papadopoulos likely learned about the Russian Active Measures campaign as early as April 2016 from Joseph Mifsud, a Maltese academic with long-standing Russia ties, well before any public awareness of the Russian effort. The committee further found Papadopoulos communicated the information he learned from Mifsud to at least two separate foreign governments. The committee could not determine if Papadopoulos informed anyone on the Trump campaign of the information, though the committee finds it implausible that Papadopoulos did not do so.